Humans mingle with fairies and birth deadly creatures that can shapeshift into anyone. The film opens with a random man running around in a bewildered forest that has no way out. He reads some signboards that also suggest he can't get out. When the night falls, he tries to climb a tree but unfortunately takes a fall. Injured and unable to walk, the man drags himself along the way. But his luck runs out when a group of unseen creatures with never before heard sounds attack him and take him away. The scenes are then cut to Mina, who is currently working at a parrot shop. The shopkeeper hands her a talking parrot named Darwin and tells Mina to have it delivered to a zoo by tomorrow. She takes out her car and embarks on her journey to the zoo. On her way, she receives a call from her sister, from which we find out she's cut herself off from her sister for the past 15 years, right when her mother died. Mina ignores her and moves along. When Mina enters the same bewildered forest zone, her car radio signals scramble, and soon her entire car stops functioning. She takes the parrot cage and comes out, only to discover the same signboards that suggest there are no points of return. She walks forward to find a way out, but gets lost. Just when it's about to be dark, Mina sees an old woman running away. Mina runs after her, which leads her to a door opening. When Mina runs inside, the woman locks it and introduces herself as Madeline. There are two more people, Xiara and Daniel, living in the shelter, which they call the Coop. Madeline makes everyone face the mirror window, so the watchers can give Mina a proper welcome. Ciara tells Mina that they only come after sunset. Since it's dark outside, the watchers arrive for Mina and applaud her. Mina leaves as soon as the sun rises. When Mina gets into the middle of the forest, she hears someone whispering her name. She starts running until she reaches the dead end. Madeline returns and takes her back. She shows Mina the landmark and a line which is the last stretch if they want to make it back to the coop before sunset. If they cross the line, they will never make it to the coop alive. Taken back to the coop, Mina sits alone and watches Ciara dance for the watchers, while Daniel watches a reality show DVD on a TV. The next day, Madeline reminds them they have 10 hours of daylight, so they must return to the coop after that. Mina joins Ciara while she collects different herbs and flowers for her pain relief medicinal paste. While talking, Mina discovers that Ciara has come to the coop with her husband, John, who's been missing for the last six days. Ciara asks Mina to keep a secret and takes her near one of the burrows. She tells Mina that there are hundreds of burrows in the forest that are interlinked underground, where the watchers rest during the daylight. In the evening, Madeline, Ciara, and Daniel synchronize their voices and tell Mina she should never face her back in the mirror window Always keep the coop's door locked after dark, never go near the burrows, and always stay in the light if she wants to stay safe from the watchers. The next day, Mina hangs out with Daniel, who is setting traps and hunting crows for food. While he talks about Madeline being a university professor who's been here before everyone else, Mina sees her childhood self standing at a distance. Upon Mina's asking, Daniel claims he's never seen a watcher in his eight months of arrival at the forest. Hearing this, Mina turns him against Madeline claiming she's purposefully keeping them here. To find answers, she takes Daniel to one of the burrows. Daniel helps her get down the burrow using a rope. Down there, Mina discovers a rusty old camera and a few other belongings of the victims. She sends them up to Daniel through the rope and waits for her turn to get pulled up. Simultaneously, she hears footsteps approaching her and a hand with six fingers coming in her direction, but it burns due to the light. Mina yells at Daniel and gets pulled back up. They take the junk back to the coop, where Madeline asks Mina where she found all this. Mina lies and tells her she found it under a rock near one of Daniel's stashes. Madeline senses Mina has witnessed something, but Mina lies and says nothing. Meanwhile, Daniel connects the camera to the TV and is surprised that it's still working. They decide to put it outside for the night. Strangely, Ciara's missing husband, John, makes a return that night. Whereas Ciara becomes emotional and tries to open the door for him, Madeline comes in her way to stop and remind her that no human can survive past sunset. Hence, she asks John a personal question regarding the last book she read. John grows silent, which hints he's one of the watchers posed as John, so they don't open the door for him. Up next, the watchers try to break in through the mirror, but Madeline convinces them to leave. 
She lectures Mina for lying and breaking the rules when she finds out Mina collected items from the burrows. The next morning, Madeline throws everything back down the burrows to resolve the conflict. Up next, the forest messes with Mina's head by replaying how she drove her mother into a fatal car crash with her resentful nature. Soon, the winters arrive, and the days fall short. Mina starts marking the trees, drawing roots on her diary, and collecting herbs for Chiara. On her way back, she sees Madeline scolding Daniel for not hunting enough animals for food. Mina returns to the coop and starts drawing the roots on the ground with chalk. When she realizes Ciara is missing, she goes after her and finds her near the burrow, about to jump in to unite with her husband. Simultaneously, the two hear Daniel screaming, so they run towards him and find out he's tied Madeline to a tree trunk. As he runs away, Ciara goes after him, leaving Mina behind. She unties Madeline, but unfortunately, by the time they reach the coop, the night falls, and Daniel refuses to open the door. Madeline takes Mina to a hideout spot, where the watchers fail to pick up their scent and walk towards the glass window, from where Daniel and Ciara announce Mina and Madeline's escape. The watchers return to find the two, but they run back to the coop, where Mina confesses to how guilty she feels for driving her mother mad and getting into a fatal car crash. She tells Daniel he's not like her and must help them, so Daniel gets convinced and lets them in. Inside, Madeline makes everyone face the mirror while revealing the truth she was hiding all along. She was a history teacher who taught folklore and mythology. Unlike everyone else, she came to the forest on her own to study the Watchers. She was horrified when she once discovered a Watcher replicating her. It looked exactly like her, except that it was taller, leaner, and had a messed up face. Madeline tells everyone that the Watchers, according to her study, have come to Earth to replicate humans by studying them. Unfortunately, they are the Watchers' study and amusement for now. Simultaneously, the Watchers appear outside and start mimicking everyone, which comes to everyone as a great shock. Madeline feels threatened, so she finally shows them the hatch and takes them to a secret bunker under the coop. There, they discover the professor's tapes, in which we see that he's captured a Watcher for research purposes. He also explains how to exit the forest by watching the birds, because they always fly to the river before sunset. He says that he's left his boat in the river to flee, but unfortunately, he goes up to the Watcher and shoots himself. Now, Mina takes the lead and releases Darwin from his cage. He leads them toward the river. On their way, they see a cemented hatch with the carvings of cursed fairies. Madeline sits down to tell the history of the fairies that clashed with humans and resulted in getting sealed under the ground where they had come from. The more they tried crawling up to the surface, the more their wings and magic diminished. When they start hearing the Watchers approaching them, they run to the boat and flee, but sadly, Daniel is caught by the Watchers. Back in the world, Mina goes to the professor's university to do research on fairies. She finds a study on halflings, which are half humans and half fairies. When she discovers another shocking truth, she turns to Ciara to address it. She reveals that she discovered Madeline's pictures with the professor in his office, and got confirmation from the front desk that Madeline was the professor's wife. The worst part is that Madeline died in 2001 of lung cancer, according to the obituary Mina found online. Mina weaves a theory that the professor caught the Watcher because he wanted it to take Madeline's form. Now, Mina figures the Madeline they were with was the Watcher posing as Madeline. Things go south when Mina watches the real Ciara pull out of the car outside the house. It turns out the Ciara she had been talking to was also Madeline, the Watcher. When the real Ciara walks in, the Watcher turns into John and smacks Ciara unconscious with a photo frame. It then takes Daniel's form and starts throwing Mina around, claiming she knows the secret and must not be trusted. Mina promises to keep it secret, but it doesn't trust her. The Watcher goes outside and reveals that it was born with a deformity that allowed it to walk in the daylight, unlike the other Watchers. It thought the professor would help it figure out its problem, but he betrayed its trust, so it shot him dead. It turns into Madeline and chokes her against the glass window while slitting her wrist open with its claws. It claims to be the chosen one who will walk among the humans as Mina. Here, Mina reveals to the Watcher that she found a study in the professor's office 
which proves the reason why it can walk in the daylight and escape the forest is because it's half human and half fairy. Hearing this, Madeline grows wings and flies away. The movie ends with Mina visiting and patching up with her sister, who turns out to be her twin with a facial scar from the car crash. Madeline, in the form of a little girl, is spotted from the window standing outside the house. The movie ends here. I hope you liked the story recap. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Thank you for being a part of Black's Movie Recaps. If these tales of mystery and intrigue sent shivers down your spine, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Black's Movie Recap for more bone-chilling narratives. Stay tuned, and until next time, stay captivated.